<laughs> Just making sure you're awake, lads. Just making sure you're awake. <laughs> Keeping you frosty. Well done, <laughs> you were jibber jabbering, face, talk, talking about biscuits and what? crumpets. What, what are these you so you've got your game face on now. All it took People was me to wake you up. Hello and welcome to a beautiful sunset here at Samari Bala. Yes, hello and welcome to another squad video from me, Paraplayers. And in today's video, I want to talk about quality of life. What do you mean by quality of life, Para? What are you talking about? Well, from my experience of being involved in squad for a long time now, there are certain things I feel in-game that can actually increase your enjoyment of the game, makes it more immersive, and you get much more of a rewarding feeling once you're actually on the battlefield and playing. So the first one you may notice on screen, I get rid of all the hood. Well basically I say I get rid of all the hood, you cannot get rid of the icons down at the bottom right, or the actual person who's speaking at the bottom left, but apart from that I have a completely blank canvas. Now this does make it more difficult when looking and aiming at people on the battlefield, you don't get names popping up. But I feel, and this is only a personal feeling, I personally feel that this makes you more effective on the battlefield. It makes it much more realistic because you really do have to ID your targets. And it's a little bit easier when it comes to playing the Americans versus the insurgents, for example, because of the silhouettes on some of the other ones, such as the Russians. It can be a little bit more difficult, but I, for me personally, this immerses me in the battlefield and the game much more by getting rid of all the HUD elements, well, as much as I can. Now, here in Death Alley, shall we call it, my experience in playing other mill sims, I would always be at the back, usually as a saw gunner. So it just becomes second nature to me now really to do this. And I've noticed things that, you know, we're all guilty of. I've, I do this again and again and again. Do not bunch up. It's the worst thing you can do in this game, especially when they're firing around RPGs. And as you can see down here at the bottom of this little corridor, there's a little bit of action going on down here. We know the enemy are down at the far end down there. And the easiest thing to do at this point would be for everybody in my squad here to all run down to that corridor and it happens again and again and again and you see this in game. Everybody runs down, you end up getting in each other's way, especially when you block doors, you want to get back into cover and there's somebody stood next to you, you're all firing at the same time. It's much less effective. I know you're going to say, well, there's more rounds going down there, but all the enemy needs to do is get a 2 or 3 or an RPG down there, and that's your entire squad wiped out. Patience is the key in this game. As you notice, I'm just laid here now. I am not going to move now. I am going to make sure that nobody comes around that corner while this little gunfight by the rest of my squad here putting to fire down and moving back. I'm going to wait here because it's no more effective for me to run down there now than it is to do anything else. Now you've noticed I've got the AT out here, that was purely because I heard a motorbike. Again, if we're going to base this on realism and immersion, then the Marines would not fire this at infantry down this corridor. We've got no idea whether there's friendlies at the other side, especially without checking the map, and they just wouldn't do it, it's there for vehicles. So try and get into that mindset as well. So, as I move across here, I'm going to be checking these corridors, and again, I'm going to sit back and wait here, because there's an opportunity for this guy to be flanked over on the left. Yo, just be careful, don't get flanked. Uh, Kavi, can I get you to the move more covering that river bed? The next point really is self-explanatory, and a lot of players do it, but a lot of people don't. If you're under contact whatsoever, just shout out on comms, on your squad radio, contact south, contact west, north, northwest, infantry, vehicle, etc. You don't need to scream down there, I got one, I got one, I got one. It, it's just, it's completely irrelevant. It doesn't need to be said. Keep the airwaves clear for people who need to, to maybe I'm getting a little bit anal here with the, the mill sim aspect of it. 
but you don't need to be constantly sprouting off on the radio. Keep it clean, keep it concise, range roughly, danger close means it's very close, etc, etc. So now that the little firefight's gone on down here, I'm going to keep facing this direction and get some smoke down so that I can bug out here. Because I know that the enemy that I've actually shot around that corner, chances are, as you can see, a grenade came in there. Chances are that they're going to send a medic out now to try and revive him. So I'm going to put some full auto down there. That's going to keep them busy while I can bug out, get around here, reload, and run across here of the river. Now, the little things to think about when we think about this of if you imagine you've got one life, you really will get more out of this game. You'll just enjoy it so much more. You notice I didn't run to the right there. I want to keep that corridor away from me as I run down here. Just these little things. You know, I'm not the best squad player in the world, but I've played a lot of Milsim, really deep, heavy, full-on uh, Milsim, such as I was in the Armour 16AA group. So a lot of the tactics and manoeuvres are based on real military things that you would and you wouldn't do, and you can't bring all that to squad, especially in a public server, but if you start to get into that mindset of, I'm a Marine, I've got one life, would I do this in real life? you would run cover to cover, you'll find that the enjoyment of the game just increases tenfold. I would be actually interested to know in some of the comments section below what what you find or what you feel gives you more enjoyment in squad. There are a lot of players as well, I'm still noticing that a lone wolf and you'll get your squad together and it's like, where's the medic? No, he's fucking other end of the map and that's not due to rally points, that's because he's pissed off, he's heard some gunfire, it's like a magpie to shiny things, oh, and, fire. and everybody runs over. Give each other space, stick with your squad, and try and do a 360 around a defence flag. Again, I noticed a lot of people say, all on the south side, because they hear gunfire coming from that direction. If you do a 360, you've got eyes 360, and as soon as you get into contact, straight on the radio, enemy up for 200 yards, IPK gunner, etc. Then we all know that possibly that you're going to be flanked, etc, etc. Anyway, as I mentioned, I'm not the best squad player out there, but I try to play it in a way that I think many other people will enjoy. And if you have that one player mindset, believe me, turn the tags off, the hood off as much as you can, turn your sound up, stick with your squad. The game is unbeatable. Honestly, I think this game is unlike any other game out there. I've played armor to death. I must have six, seven hundred hours on armor. I'm, I know people keep asking me to do it. I can't, guys. I'm absolutely burnt out from that game. It's clunky, it's boring. And mind you, the, the new Iron Front mod for well, uh, 3 quite interests me. But playing with the AI is just absolutely no terrible. As anybody who's played Armour will know. It's just not for me. I've completely had enough of that game. But I'll sign off from there. I don't want to waffle on for too long. I just like putting these videos out with a little bit of interest and feedback on how I feel about the game. I would be interested to know what you guys think would be interesting content. I've only got 3,000 subs. I know somebody keeps asking me, why have you only got 3,000 subs? I think I pissed off the community when I was honest about Reddit. A certain snake in the grass stabbed me in the back and lied about me and did this and this and this. And, uh, well, it fucked the channel up. And, but I keep plodding along. I'm enjoying it. I get a few subs every now and then. So I shall see you on the battlefield with some interesting things coming soon. I'm actually being asked to test a certain game that's related to this in the community. I can't say anything as I'm under NDA, but the exciting things are coming to the whole squad universe. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in another video. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you on the battlefield. I'm Paraplays. Bye-bye.